cowards too. And these birds roost all day out on these big lakes called Eagle Lakes. Now it's feeding time. They're hungry. They've been sitting on the lake most of the day. So they do need to feed, and they need to feed pretty actively. So we're seeing 20 plus thousand ducks going into this one field here. And there's tornadoes, a bunch on the ground already. It's pretty exciting to see us again. They're all mallards. It's just so amazing. It's because there's enough grain up here to sustain them through the winter. Farmers harvest a lot of crops. Waterfowl hunting groups like Eagle Lakes create ponds that have corn in it that they can go into year round and get the corn out of there. Even when the season's over, they still uh, access those ponds for corn. So it's an amazing stopping place. And they stay here because there's open water and there's feed year round. And they return back to Canada in really good shape. They didn't have to migrate very far and there's plenty of feed here. I call it the ice line. It gets some ice in here, but not enough to freeze everything. It only freezes um, some of the smaller ponds. Ice line, they like the colder weather. When I was younger, I used to think they all went to California. They don't. They stopped here. Maybe when I was a kid, they didn't have the crops up here and they went to California, but they don't anymore. They, they stay here. They don't go to Cotuli Lake. They don't go to Klamath. They stay up here in Washington. This is evidence of that right here. And it'll, it'll be like this all the way till January. They stay here through the winter and then they return back up to Canada in the breeding ground as soon as they can. They really need these crops up here January, February, and March. That's why some of these flooded corn ponds are invaluable to them. It's truly a, a sight that every waterfowler ought to come see. interesting you know, a lot of people don't understand hunting very well and they think that you know hunters are out to really destroy the resource to kill all the, the ducks and and the reality is they're the only ones that really care about it and at the end of the day it's habitat and habitat is what these animals need I always tell people they don't live in Macy's and Nordstrom's you know they have to live on places uh, that provide all the things they need food is clearly one of them but they also need water they need areas to be able to rest and roost um, so up here at Eagle Lakes we have these giant lakes that they can go out on that it, it basically acts as a refuge. Nobody can hunt them. They sit in those and, and they're very well protected. We hunt these ducks on the dry corns and the flooded corn ponds. Sometimes even some alfalfa fields. We hunt the ducks and the geese and we really shoot a very, very small percentage of the number that come through. And I, I think it's safe to say that, you know, hunters, given the limits that we have, really have no impact on the, the duck numbers. And again, it comes down to habitat. We, hunters kill such a small percentage of them. They would have some other form of, of mortality. These are resources that need to be managed properly. And so, you know, ducks and geese are, are a managed resource. And management means a certain amount of how you manage the hunting. It's also the habitat and how you manage habitat, how you have nesting habitat where the birds like to nest, as well as the, the wintering habitat areas. The waterfowl community is the one that cares about these birds. People spend millions of dollars. There's organizations like Ducks Unlimited, California Waterfowl, who are primarily made up of hunters, and these hunters care about this resource, and they're trying to give back and figure out how to protect habitat for these birds and the thing that drives their passion is the ability to come out and see them and hunt them and it's not really the killing it's the seeing them you've seen some of the film that we've we've shown of these birds we're just out watching them and love watching the birds it drives our passion is why we put money and time and effort into trying to take care of this important resource and manage it properly because the hunters are the only ones that really care